Paul, well done today. Banana skin avoided and a pretty comprehensive win in the end. Yeah, lads uh, played some outstanding football at times. Great passages of play. The gaffer and Joe's been working hard with shape and stuff this week with them. And uh, it, it shows that... Uh, if you can get it right on the on the training pitch, that uh, it comes on to to the main pitch and uh, some exciting football and three great goals. You had to be patient. I think that was the virtue of the first half. Yeah, it was. I mean, they've got a game plan, and uh, it's all about um, not forcing things, which is what Gaffer has been working on this week with them. And uh, I think every man and the dog could see like uh, there's some great passages to play with uh, one t one and two touch football to move them. And your strikers are in. Red hot form, none more so than Kelsey Mooney, the first Boston United player to score back to back hat tricks since 1966. So. Christ, another stat, well done. Um, uh, Moons takes applaudits, but I thought the old boys today with Woods and uh, Boz were absolutely outstanding. And as as for everyone in the, in the team, they put a right shift in, but uh, Moons is uh, on fire. And uh, Long may it continue. Uh, we might be having to borrow some match, match balls off him what he keeps taking home for training. Um, you were quite inventive with set pieces as well today, but the one that you did put into the box was where your second and probably game-clinching goal came from. Yeah, it's just Woodsy with a great quality into it. I mean, uh, they spend hours on stuff after training, doing bits and bobs and... Uh, it's just it's just nice to get on the end of some set pieces and that load in. It, it, it's just a great vibe around the dressing room uh, in training and stuff. It's just a, a lovely place to come and work. And a clean sheet. A big save from Cameron Wright on half-time. And I guess that'll do him the world of good because I don't think he's done a great deal wrong since he's come back. But you've shipped a few goals as a team. I guess you just soul-search at times and, and look for something when it's not there. But for him to keep a clean sheet and to make that save must, must do him good. Yeah, uh, read, read the situation well. I think that was probably their only opportunity first half. And he got out very quickly and uh, spread himself, took a couple of good crosses. Um, Cam's, Cam's an excellent goalkeeper. But um, we're as a goalkeeper, is only as good as what we've got in front of us. And that was very good. Like you said, led by your captain who seemed to clear everything. He's colossal. Boz is just brilliant. He, uh, he's infectious the way he plays the game. Uh, the way he drives the dressing room, um, it, it's just lovely to have a couple of the old boys in there. What uh, what demand from the young lads? On paper, arguably your uh, toughest game left next week, I would say. At Chorley, is that going to be a marker to see where you're at? No, I don't define that as a, a marker because we have no fear of anybody. We believe if we play the way we play football, that. Uh, and like we're scoring goals freely now, that uh, they're going to be more worried about us than what we are them. As long as we go there, implement our, implement our game and be patient and uh, not play long and do, do the right things, we'll be more than a match for anyone in this league. And hopefully players back, if not for next week, then certainly for the Easter weekend. And you're going to need them for the running. That's the exciting thing. So, I mean, yes, we do need a little bit of help. Uh, obviously, Maz has pulled out and uh, would have been nice because he was hitting form. So, might need a little bit of help in that department. But, um, no, it's uh, it's it's a great thing to think that we've got players coming back, coming uh, at the money end of the season. And, as we so often do, you have a former teammate coming back today. Good to see Chris with. Yeah, he ain't changed. He's a lovely player, a lovely bloke. And... Uh, entertaining that's what he was all about and by these uh these clothes he's wearing today he ain't changed